What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing things a little differently today. I normally have the camera on a tripod talking to you from across the room, but with all this social distancing going on, I wanted to be just a little closer to you guys for this video, which is going to be pretty cool because today I'm going to be opening up the OSD Black X11 amplifier, the 234 pound amplifier. That is more than I weigh. That is almost as much as I weigh. Now, if you didn't see the unboxing video on that little beauty, that is a 234 pound home theater amplifier, 11 channels giving out 380 watts per channel at eight ohms and 600 watts per channel at four ohms. So if you're interested in more specs and seeing the unboxing video, I'll leave a card up above as well as a link in the description. But for now, let's go ahead and take it apart. All right, just let me grab these here and, oh yeah, this might work. Yeah, we can use that. Oh yeah, that will get in all right. We'll use this. So the panels are held on by a bunch of these little Allen screws here. As you can see, they're pretty tiny. Um, I'm gonna work on taking both of the handles off of this side and then all of the screws on the rest of the side here. I'm gonna move along to the top, take the screws out of the top, as well as the top of the opposite side over there to see if I can get both the top and side panel off so we can see what's inside. So there's our handles off. Start to see inside a little bit there. And all those screws, there is a, uh, kind of like a very, very short nut on the back side of there that was welded onto the steel frame, so that's how everything looks like it's held on. All right guys, first panel coming off. All right, so each of these panels probably have some sort of deadening material on it. This is similar to like Dynamat, like you'd put in vehicles. Um, it's got kind of a tarry substance on one side and a foil um, on the other side to dissipate heat and reflect heat back in up towards the vents. Um, just so your panels don't make a whole lot of noise or get hot. So I suspect that'll probably be on the top and the other side as well, but uh, we won't know until we open it up. All right, let's get a better look in here. You know, I think the side panel might be holding it on as well somehow. I'm going to go ahead and take it off to get a better look because I'm not going to screw this thing up. Okay, let's see if that did anything. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, so like I said, each one of these panels has a little bit of material on here similar to what Dynamat is. Um, that's going to reflect all the heat back to hopefully go out the vent holes instead of heating up the metal chassis itself. So let's bring in for a closer look. So I brought in some extra lights so we can see a little better. Here are all of the panels. And I actually didn't even have to take those handles off, but as you can see, there is just like a little nut welded onto the back there. So the screws have something to bite into. And here is the inside. This is just absolutely insanely heavy still. Each one of those probably weigh about five pounds. So we gotta figure there's six panels on there, probably about 30 pounds total just in the outer chassis. But I mean, all of this is steel holding the uh, power supplies in there. Each one of these amp modules, I'll go around to the back side in a second, but um, each one of those are a double stack of what the smaller one is. All those are just surrounded in steel. There's steel supports up top. I mean, the thing is solid. Looking at the back here where you have your two power supplies, come around to this side, and you got what looks to be probably 14, maybe 12 gauge wire coming off of there into the uh, fuse, and then a little thicker wire. If you can see right down there, that wire right there, I think that one's 
probably a 12 gauge going into the power supply there. And we're going to open up that in just a second as well. But let me take to the other side so you can see how just massive these are. Okay, that is very heavy to move without handles. Thought it was bad enough with handles. But so you can see each one of these amp modules has just a giant heat sink coming down the whole thing. Um, these ones here on the, well, the one, two, three, four, five of these, they're a double input output. So they got two stacked there. That one on the far side is just a single input output. That's why that one's shorter. Just look at those. These are just massive aluminum heat sinks. Um, I can't really see the amp boards themselves. You can see there's a cap peeking through there. Cap peeking through there. I don't claim to be an expert on these electronics. I'm far from it actually, but uh, I did want to take a look at the inside to show you guys sure you all are going to know a lot better than me what you're looking at. Here's a little close-up of all the wiring going from the power supplies to the amp modules. Um, I thought about taking the front panel off. I don't really see a point. You can kind of see in there, there's just some wires for the uh, LED screen, the power button. So there's really not much going on in there. Not going to take that off. But... I'm gonna take the top off of that, see what the power supplies look like. All right, so let's get a little closer look here. Like I said, here's your switcher from 115 to 230. So I suppose you could run this off of 230 if you had the correct cables to do so, and you were able to switch that. Here's our power line coming in, the red cables here and the black for the ground. Going there and there. Got each one of the amp modules coming in off of the board here. There's several of those running down the line. A okay, pass quality control, very nice. There it says X11 on the board. And it looks like this one was made or pass quality control in 2018. So we'll see if we can't get one of these side panels off and see if we can't see any more. All right, guys, I got some good news and mainly bad news. So. Bad news, this side panel does not come off. It actually used all the way underneath and comes up on the other side. There's no way to get it off. I'm not gonna bend it back to see what's in there, obviously. Um, so that's staying on. A little bit of good news, got this front panel off, which I gotta say, OSD, this is pretty hefty. This is probably 15 pounds at least of, I think it's just aluminum, but uh, yeah, that is pretty impressive. Um, I hope it was okay that I took that off. Uh, it came off pretty easily. Um, it'll go back together just fine. So yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, the other little bit of bad news, I'm not gonna take this front panel off. I'll show you why in just a moment. So here is the front panel here. Like I said, I'm not gonna be taking this one apart. Um, as you can see, the main power wires are coming in off the board and going down to each one of the levels where the toroidal transformers are. I could see just through the crack here on the side, there looked like two toroidal transformers up on this level. There was, oh, those were maybe about inch and a half thick. These suckers on the main or the middle level, they were huge. They were probably about twice the size of the ones up top. I couldn't see on the bottom one. I wasn't gonna bend that back to find it. Um, but there's 115 volt switchers there. And the main reason I'm not gonna take all this apart if it was just these couple screws on the side, eh, probably wouldn't be a huge deal. I don't really want to take these wires off though, and there's screws going into each one of these 115, 230 volt switchers, and screws going into a board itself there. So, not gonna mess with taking that apart, but there's what's inside the front panel, and uh, like I said, OSD, this is, this is beefy, I and mean, this is, hard to move around just in the front panel alone probably 15 to 20 pounds so yeah like I said just in the chassis with the all those panels there plus the other I guess two now that are on here and the front panel you're probably looking at at least 50 pounds just for the chassis so again guys this is 11 channels 380 watts per channel at 8 ohms uh, the first 10 channels are these double modules going along the top of the 11th channel is that last one down there on the bottom. 
it's a half module on the other side, but everything is super solid. I mean, this is all steel throughout here. Aluminum heat sinks, um, all the toroidal transformers in there just make this a beast to carry around. Super heavy, super solid. So great job by OSD on building a very solid amplifier. All right, guys, so that's it. The inside of OSD Black's Theatro X11 home theater amplifier. Their $5,000 11 channel home theater amp. Thanks to the guys at OSD for letting me tear that down for you. I was super interested of in seeing what was inside there. I know you guys were super interested based on your feedback from the last video, so a big thanks goes out to them. If you guys are interested in anything from OSD, I'll leave a link to their website down below along with a coupon code, Life of Bliss 15 which will save you 15% off the purchase of this amplifier if you guys are interested. Thanks for checking out Life of Bliss. Give that thumbs up button a smash. Hit that subscribe button. And here are some still images of the X11.